The ragdoll cat is a large, affectionate cat that goes with the flow. They are ideal lap cats because they simply go limp with pleasure when they are being petted, giving them their name. This cat breed is one of the largest. But don't let the size intimidate you. Their big blue eyes and low through the purr let you know they're just big softies. Ragdolls are notoriously social, making them a good fit for bustling homes with plenty of people and friendly pets. The big beautiful ragdoll cat does not reach its full size, about 15 pounds on average until about 4 years of age. With its easygoing personality and social temperament, the ragdoll is ready to be friend with just about anyone. Prepare your lap for extended cuddling session in which your ragdoll will flop like a mop across your leg and expect enthusiastic billy rubs. The ragdoll does not need a lot of exercise or rambunctious playtime, but snuggle time is essential. The ragdoll is relatively new. It was developed in California in 1960s. A cat breeder named N. Baker wanted to create a beautiful cat with loving personality. She started by breeding a domestic long-haired white cat of unknown origin name Josephine with several premise like cats. Though it took a few generations, Baker eventually produced the first cat she called Ragdolls. These cats were appreciated for their non matting fur, large size, and outgoing personalities. The Cat Fanciers Association CFA, began registering ragdolls in 1997. Ragdolls are consistently one of the most popular cat breeds registered by the CFA. The ragdoll has a silky single coat, meaning that it doesn't have an underlayer of fur. It's meant to be lower matting than other medium haired cat coats. This spread still benefits from brushing at least twice a week to help avoid tangles. Since ragdolls don't have an undercoat, the amount of shedding and danger production is lower than that of heavier coated breeds. However, many people are still allergic to saliva and skin secretions from cats, and ragdolls produce these allergens so they are not considered hypoallergenic. Like all other cats, they also generally need nail trims. Keep in mind that your cat will probably want to sharpen its claws even more than normal after a pedicure, so be sure to provide good scratching posts. They are moderately energetic social cats. They enjoy regular playtime using wands or other interactive cat toys. Most also benefit from being fed out of a felon puzzle, feeder from mental stimulation. Don't just leave toys around for your kitty, though, as it's best, get up and play together. This will help keep your cat's weight down, avoid behavior concerns caused by boredom, and build bonds within the family. Ragdolls are prone to weight gain. To keep them fit and trim, Feed them out of puzzle toys and portion out their daily food. Regular play is also important. Chubby cats are not healthy. They are prone to bladder stones, which are painful and cause blood in the urine. Signs include vocalizing in the litter box, straining to urinate, or urinating outside the litter box. To help prevent bladder stones, encourage your cat to drink lots of water and schedule a regular checkup with your wet. Ragdolls are prone to HCM, a heart disease that causes thickening of the heart muscles. It's difficult to prevent and there is no care. Genetic testing can help breeders avoid breeding cats with HCM, but it's always a risk. Purebred ragdoll kittens are born solid white due to a genetic mutation. Their coats begin to develop colors and patterns around 2 months of age, but don't fully develop their coloration for about 2 years. A ragdoll's medium length coat is silky soft and often compared to rabbit fur. It's considered a pointed breed, meaning its body is lighter colored than its face, ears, legs and tail. Its fur is somewhat longer and thicker around its neck, giving the appearance of a mane. Their ears are relatively small and slightly rounded. These large cats are not overly muscled, they are rather soft and quite flexible. Work with your wet to develop a diet appropriate for your ragdoll's age and activity level. 
Wet foods help provide moisture that can help prevent urinary issues. Be sure to ration the food and don't leave it out in your cat's pool all day. Leaving food out could lead to overeating and obesity, a risk factor for diabetes in cats. And there you have it, all about ragdoll cats. Write your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.